Welcome guys. This is the channel for anything relating to analysis, web development and IT in general. The other channel which is Philos Masterclass is for other courses. Now we are going to start here with data analysis. And the first tool we'll be looking at is Excel. So it is important you have the Excel downloaded and installed on your personal computer. Okay. Now this is the Microsoft Excel. Okay. So that's what we are going to look at first. Now if yours is not on the desktop, you can click on the Windows key here. Look at the right. Or the search. Or you can click here to search for it. So just type Excel. If you can't find it, it means you still do not have it on your computer. So you need to download and install it. You can check the description area below for a link on how to download and install it in case you do not have it. Now, what I have at the right here is called Task Bar. Okay. For most computers, it's mostly at the down, the bottom. Okay. But I deliberately set mine to be at the right by going to settings on the computer. So yours might be at the down here. Okay. So when you double click on it to open it, this is how it will come. So it will come this way. There are several templates that you can use depending on what you want to do. Okay. But you are a beginner. So we'll be starting with a blank workbook. Now it's just like getting a whole book and then opening the book. Okay. So I'm going to click on this particular one here. And what I'm clicking on is called blank workbook. Just as how you open a whole new book, but a blank one, a book that has nothing in it. Okay. So I'll double click on it to open new book. So what I just opened now is a new book, a blank workbook, a book that has nothing written in it already. Okay. Now, just as a book has pages, like page one, page two, page three going. Already I told you that what we open is a what? It's a workbook. So we are in a workbook. And the name of this workbook is book four. But we can change the name. We can edit the name to suit our own narration. In Excel workbook as well, you can have several worksheets. So this, so this worksheet that we have here right now is sheet one. So in case you want to open sheet two, look at it down here. You see the plus at the front of sheet one. Click on it. When you click on it, you have another page or another sheet, which is sheet two. If you are done writing in sheet 2 and you want to write something else in sheet 3, then you click on the plus. You see, so you can write something new in sheet 3 as well. And you can go back to sheet 1 by clicking on sheet 1. You can go back to sheet 2 by clicking on sheet 2. You can go back to sheet 3 by clicking on sheet 3. And when you click on the plus, you can create a new worksheet. Okay, now you know the difference between workbook and worksheet. So worksheets are in a workbook. Okay. Now one interesting thing about this is that you can rename each sheet. Let's assume that I've recorded data about 2016 election in Ghana on this sheet one. I can rename this sheet one as let's say 2016 election. So to rename sheet one, just right click on it and then click on rename. Then you name it as you want. So let's say I want to name it 2016 election. Or let me just say 2016. Because I understand that maybe this workbook is for election. So I'll just hit enter. So it will be renamed 2016. So you can name it any how you want. Or let's say it's a sales data. Okay. Let's say sales in Accra. So you can name this Accra. You can name this Kumasi. You can name this Ho and the like. You get it. So you can rename each sheet to suit your narration of whatever is on each sheet. I hope you understand that. Now, in Excel, we also have something called rows and columns. So let's look at what they are. Now, when we talk about columns, columns are vertical. Okay. Columns are what? 
vertical from top down or down up okay and rows are horizontals like from left to right or right to left you get it so this a here is a column columns are labeled with alphabet such as a b c d e f going okay and then rows are labeled with numbers that is one two three four five six going okay this particular column is column a okay and this is column b column c column d okay and this is row one row two row three row four going so when i ask you to click on column c you just come and click on c here when i ask you to click on column f just click on the letter f here to select the entire column f okay when i ask you to click on row four you just click on the four here to select row four you get it so the ones labeled with letters are columns and the ones labeled with numbers are what are rows columns are vertical and rows are what horizontal okay now you know the meaning of columns and rows okay so now let's look at cells now each of these small small boxes you are seeing here all these small small boxes that i'm clicking on are all cells okay they are all cells 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 okay now, just as we are human, okay, and we have our specific names, even though we are human, I'm human, we are human, another person is human, but we have our specific names, that makes us unique. Also, you realize that each column also has a name, like this is column A, column B, column C, and each row also has a name, row 1, row 2, row 3 going. Each cell is going to have its unique name as well. Okay, so let's see how to name each cell. Okay, so let's attend the naming ceremony of each of the cells. Now, the thing is that the intersection of a column and a row is a cell, right? Now, this particular cell here, where I'm pointing at, is the intersection of column B and row 4, isn't it? So, since this particular cell is the intersection of column B and row 4. This particular cell will be called cell B4. You use the name of the column and row to name the cell. So this cell is called B4. To be sure, look at the name box at the top um, left corner here. You see that they've written B4 there. Any cell you click on. You are going to see its name at the top here. Okay. So when I click on this cell, you see that its name appears at the top here, B2. So we use the name of the column and the row to name a cell. Okay. So when I ask you to click on cell D5, I'm basically asking you to look at column D and row 5. Their intersection is this cell, D5. Okay. So you know the name of each cell now, isn't it? Now, this is the home tab. Okay, so this is home tab. This is insert tab. So, so going forward, when I ask you to click on insert tab, just click here. Okay, maybe there's something you want to make use of over there. And then when I ask you to click on the draw tab, you just click here. When I ask you to click on page layout tab, then you click here. Formula tab, data tab, review, and the like. We will have developer tab. That one we have to go to settings to bring it on. Okay. Now I believe you know workbook, you know worksheets, you also know rows, columns, cells, and tabs. So in the next tutorial, we are going to look at data entry and formatting. So prepare for the next tutorial. So I'll stop this here for now. Thank you.